Vegetable farming is one of the silent money makers in the country. Lettuce, which most Kenyans call lettuce, is one of the popular vegetables in Kenya and around the world due to its high nutritional value. It is considered superior because it's high in vitamin C and dietary fiber. One head of lettuce goes for 70 to 100 shillings. On a good month, you can make 100,000 to 150,000 profit from lettuce farming. However, in today's episode of Kilimo na Biashara, our main focus is not only how to grow, plant and harvest lettuce, but we show how agriculture is playing a key role in transforming lives. Oseligi Farm is a rather unique agribusiness hub. Their focus is not to make profit, but to provide food and shelter for many disadvantaged youth from disturbed backgrounds. They rescue the youth and train them on various agricultural practices. It is an inspiring story of giving back to the society, at the same time bringing up a generation of patriotic youth with a heart of volunteerism. All this through agriculture. Now let's get the story. And welcome to today's episode of Kilimona Biashara. And the festive season is here. Remember, it is a season of giving. So the reason why I chose this particular farm is that they not only do lettuce or letters farming, but they rehabilitate street children through agriculture. How noble is that? Let's go see what this farm has for us. Hey, Yolanda. Hey. Linda, how, how are you? Mambo. I go fit. Ah, yeah, I like sana. I like your Swahili. Ushanza mpaka unajua mambo. Ha kidogo tu. Ya ku survive hapo. How are you? Thank you so much ah. for hosting us today. Karibu Osiligi. sana Usiligi farm. Mm -hmm. Unajua maana ya Usiligi? Akisijui. Ni ina maanisha nini? Usiligi ni Kimasai. Uh -huh. Ina maanisha hope. <laughs> eh juu hii ni farm yenyewe mm -hmm. lakini pia ni project. So ni project ya my boys mm -hmm. wale tunataka kuwapatia hope. Uh -huh wale wamejipata kwa shida hapa na pale mm -hmm. shida moja ama mbili hapa uh -huh. labda na familia ama mimi na system mm -hmm. unaona mm -hmm. sasa tunataka tuwapatia hope kuwa train mm -hmm. na tume choose ku train kilimo mm -hmm. juu wengi uko nje ni maybe mechanics ama vitu ka hizo yeah. zile zinawarudisha tao mm -hmm. sana tao haikuwasaidia mbeleni mm -hmm. so itawasaidia tena wapi eh. sasa tunataka watoka tao mm -hmm. wapate hewa fresh uh -huh. sasa pia kilimo tumeona iko na kazi mm -hmm. kilimo huko sangi kazi huko uwezi farmers wanataka maboy wakisha graduate sasa zingine tuko na waiting list wanataka boy tunasema ngoja kidogo uh -huh. a graduate kwanza ndio uh, okay. aende job mm -hmm. hapa ni farm na pia ni project mm -hmm. tuonyeshe huko kwa shamba sasawa uh -huh. lakini kabla ya shamba uh -huh. mimi ni kushodaro uh -huh. juu wanafunzwa pia uh -huh. kidogo kidogo tu kwa class alafu wanaenda kwa hewa uh -huh. ndio wanaingia kwa shamba <laughs> sawa tuende daro wa <laughs> so daro ziko ngapi huku atuko na daro ya kilimo mm -hmm. tuseme agriculture hivyo mm -hmm. lakini pia tuko na ma class class i'm totally impressed Pia tuko na daro moja mm -hmm. tuna focus kwa KCB. Oh. Tena kuna wale maybe wanahitaji kidogo individual attention tunaweka mm -hmm. kwa small groups na yeah. mwalimu. Mm -hmm. So hiyo ni classroom block. Mm -hmm. So unaona hiyo kwanza? Uh -huh. Hii unaona hawezi hawezi ingia bila ki. Hii oh. ni ya computer. Uh -huh. Alafu hapa kuna mm -hmm. agricultural class. Oh. Tena hapa kuna classes za kawaida zinaendelea. Ah. Okay. Okay. Then the matching matching kuna jua. Kuna ngani na kuna inaongana. Tulit. Hodi. Okay, get in. <laughs> eh, yes. mwalimu kioko. Yes. Sasa poa sana. Eh, mbarema funzo. Yako sawa kabisa. Eh, wanafunzi. Hello. Amjana. 
Habari zenyu? Ah. This is an agricultural class ongoing? Yes. Wow. An agriculture. Uh-huh. Yeah. Teaching them about weeds. Ah, about weeds. Wow. I'm about to say you Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so, we generally have this class every every day. Yeah. That is good. This is such a good agricultural farm. Mm. These are good farmers in future. Yes. Or future farmers. They are. <laughs> Na hata hata si wakulima peke. Uh-huh. Hao wanapenda ile ya kijuju. Si ndio? Engineers. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> sawa sawa. Kulima pia sio mbaya. Uh-huh. Lakini hao hao wako juu. Mhm. Eh. Uh-huh. Msome mkuu uh-huh. farmers wakubwa. Hata hata wakubwa na pia wajuvu. Mm. Ah wako juu by the way usiwaone hivyo. Eh eh. Unaona? Wako sawa. Tu wako sawa. Eh. Sawa sawa asante. Asante mwalimu. Okay. Karibu sana. Asante. Yeah. Tena na tena. That is so good your land. Tuna mechanical weed control tunasema tunatumia our own farm equipment. Control weed. I'm just from an agricultural class and I tell you I'm so impressed. Now, let's go to the farm to the practical bit. Let's go. So this is the greenhouse. Yes, sasa tunalekea farming part. So you have so many greenhouses that not seen this one. Yeah, so this is a different kidogo na zile tumepita. Jo hapa mostly tuna focus kwa maletes. Ni kutengenezea ka sandwich hivi. Lazima stoke hapa. Ukiona unaweza pata mapatite kidogo. Sa hapa ningependa kuku handover kwa mtu wetu anaitwa Peter Kitengo. Aha. Unapanda lata sana. Sana. Sa wacha mimi nikutengenezee sandwich. Eh eh ni patana wewe obonga na Peter. As we wait for the sandwich, let's go and see this deep water culture system. Let's go. Kitengo. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Karibu Let sana. Let me close. Madam Lida. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you. Karibu sana. Mhm. Mm eh, kwanza hapa. Uh-huh. Tutaanza kusoko migu yetu hapa. Uh-huh. Hii tunafanya kwa sababu ya ku protect bacteria zile pengine tumetoka nazo nje. Mhm. Hii maji tumeweka jik uh-huh. na some chemicals za kuwa germs. Oh. Kwa kiatu wakati tunakanyaga hivi. Sio tukanyage kabla. Tukanyaga hapo. Okay. Migu yetu inakuwa safi tukiingia pale hatuwezi kupeleka hen bacteria pale. Mhm. Haya. Iko sawa? Iko sawa sasa. Karibu ndani. Asante. This is so nice. Hey Kitengu. Yes. Ukuniambia kuna maneno hapa? Hapa kuna maneno. So ni nini hii maneno? Kwanza. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa hapa hii ndio hydroponic system. Mhm. Ambayo ndio tunafanya hapa, ambayo tunakuza lettuce. Oh. Kama vile unaona. Mhm. Tuko na different varieties yeah. za lettuce. Uh-huh. Na sasa hivi unaona hao mabozi wanaendelea kupanda. Na, na pia ningependa kwanza upande kidogo. Ah, siwezi. Ujifunze. Nionyeshe. Eh, eh, ningetaka pia ujifunze. Ninataka sana kujua. Hivi utoke hapa ukiwa unajua. Eh, sasa hapa mm-hmm. nataka hii kwanza inaitwa Atheram. Uh-huh. Ama Romaine. Kwanza oh. tutaweka hizo cup chukua zako. Eh, wow. Na hizi ni sangu. Eh, this is interesting. I'm already so impressed and excited and as you know this is the favorite part of this show for me it's the planting part. So this type no soil. Sasa hapa tunaanza kwa ishimo. Eh. Unaweka kwa hii, nze kuweka kwa hii line. Hii tunaruka kwa sababu ya spacing. Tunaenda hii, alafu unaanza hii line nyingine. Unaweka hivyo. Oh, it's unaweka hiyo. Hiyo unaweka hiyo. Na mimi naweka hizi. Na hii. Hiyo unaweka kwa hii line. Na hii. Hiyo, hiyo. So mtu anajua aje spacing kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Kwanza wakati ule tunafanya tunaweka hizi machimo. Uh-huh. Huwa kwanza tuna ile measurement tunatumia oh. ya kumekisha sure kwamba kutoka uh-huh. kwa shimo mpaka kwa ile nyingine is spacing uh-huh. inakuwa 30 by 30 cm uh-huh. for every to, to, from lettuce to another lettuce. Uh-huh. Kwa hiyo tunaweka hapa ukihesabu hapa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni 30 uh-huh. cm. So Kwenda hapa ni 30 uh-huh. cm. Mhm. Uh-huh. Oh, ni 30 cm. 30 cm. Uh-huh. Yes. So is this soil ni mchanga ama si mchanga hii? Hii ni peat moss. Oh, ambayo tunatumia kupanda nayo kwa nazari peke yake. Oh. Yes. Mhm. Imetengenezwa ni special kwa nazari. Hiyo si mchanga. So inaingia yote kwa maji. Hiyo ukichukua hina mambo mengi, uh. unachukua tu na unaangusha hapo hivyo. Oh, Ushamalizana nayo. Niangusha hivi. Hivyo hivyo tu. Haina mambo mengi. 
pia unaweza kutoa yako hapa ili ukue unaweza toa kama hiyo ifute tu hivyo eh hey, ini rahisi sana it's very simple hiyo ni rahisi sana <laughs> atutumie mchanga hey. si kama kwa mchanga si kama kwa mchanga yeah. haina kazi nyingi kabisa less labor intensive kabisa kisha panda hivi tunangoja muda gani kabla ianze kuvunwa huyu inategemea na variety na variety yenye tumepanda inachukua 6 weeks ukiongelea variety ni variety gani uko nayo hapa na una differentiate aje tuko na variety tano tuko na variety tunaita iceberg tuko na rafif tuko na butter end tuko na olive red na olive green ukisiangalia hata umbo yake ni tofauti kwa mfano kama hii unaona hapa ini ini iceberg hii iceberg ukiangalia na hii nyingine iko hapa hii ni rafifu. Kwa hiyo tayari ukiangalia hii iceberg na hii rafifu siko tofauti. Ukiangalia matawi yake iceberg e, e, inafanya kichwa juu. Rafifu matawi yake yote inasimama kusimama. Sasa juu ipandwe kwa mchanga ina manejiwa aje. Management yake ni rahisi sana. Kwa sababu ile maji tunatumia hapa tuko na tunafuta hiyo maji kutoka kwa fish pond. Na hiyo fish pond huwa samaki inafanya ammonia alafu tukileta kwa maji ya kawaida inakutana ina sababu maji ya kawaida inakuwa na nutrients alafu kukutana sasa unapata ile hizo letu zimepata chakula yake hii maji hapa huwa ina rotate continuously hii maji inatoka hapa inaingia kwa shimo ya fish pond na ina root tena ina root kwa tangi inaingia tena kwa DWC inaona meka traps nyingi sana hapa leta azama let you zina affect you sana na wadudu kuna insects zinaingia but unapata kuna mitego tunaweka kama ya, kushi, ya kushika out, tra, out traps Ukiangalia I think kuna vitu umeona huku simeyangang kama sa yellowish zingine sa blue hizo wadudu wote wale wana fly juu wanakuja wote wanashika pale alafu tunatoa tunaweka singine. Gani inahitajika sana kwa market kati ya hizi zote? Gani ina fail haraka? Kwanza iceberg inaenda haraka na olive green. Iko na demand ya juu sana. Hizo market senye tu, kuna zile market ambayo tuna supply. Kama size setu wao tunapeleka kama Carrefour na duka nyingine inaitwa Corner Shop. going to show you how to grow letters or lettuce in palmas. This is what I mean. Look at this. These are basically stones, but a variety called palmas. Lettuce really performs well when grown in palmas. So let's talk to the expert to tell us more about this type of farming. Ninaona mnapanda hii mimea kwa mawe. Mbona kwa mawe? Haya mawe yes. number 1 inatokana na volcano. Mm -hmm. Um very rich in nutrients na pia ni organic. And uh, we are promoting organic. Mm -hmm. That's what we try to go. So hii zone unaona malituko eh, tunafanya trial. It's a trial zone mm -hmm. and different crops. Sio sababu because tunataka kwa land our plantation at least to judge which is which and where and how so umeona pale tumejaribu hiyo ni, ni broccoli uh, hii ni cauliflower lakini kulingana na matokeo yetu hatujaona ikienda vizuri kwa hivyo uh, hapo tumeona upande wa uh, pamis hatutaweza kutumia upande wa kupanda, kupanda broccoli na cauliflower lakini tukiingia upande wa lettuce mm. uh, unaona hii ni iceberg uh, hii ni butterhead in iceberg hiyo ni okru red Yeah, do very well. What are the advantages of growing lettuce or lettuce in palmas? Number one, the holding of the water. Uh, it promotes aeration of the roots of the crop. 
So because it allows water to move very easily in between the rocks. So there's promotion of aeration of the roots and then ends good yield of the crop. Then number two, you don't need to do a crop rotation for you to plant the next crop. You just need to immediately put another crop or else you can change the media, which is the, uh, the permis, and then just put that crop and it grows very, very well. And uh, very important, it controls soil borne diseases. We have seen, we have tested, it's working. If now someone is interested in starting this type of farming, what are the requirements needed before you jump into this business? Hakuna, hakuna mambo mzito, hakuna, hakuna ungumu hapo. Bora tuwe wena the media. I media kuna, kuna places is, 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 is in the bucket. Um, mostly tuna chukua from Kiambu, Kiambu, Kiambu County. Um, in, uh, kuna farmers wako nayo kwa wingi, the suppliers with that. And then once ikikuja, hakuna mambo mbingi sana because it's already ready from where it is coming from. Ni kueka tu kwa uh, these ones, hizi unaziona. Um, they are just now our beds. We can just call our, our, our number on beds. Eh? So even with these stones, can you get weeds? The weeds, yes, but minimal. So little weeds, which is very easy to manage. You don't need a jembe here. <laughs> you need a fork, you don't need a fork. Just use your hands, you pluck the small weeds that are in between the crop. So what are the nutritional value of lettuce or lettuce? Number one, it has high level of fiber, which helps uh, the body in the area of digestion. Uh, it has high level of water content, in fact around 95%, which means your body will be helped in the area of hydration. Yeah. It has, it's rich in vitamin A, promotes eye vision, it is rich in vitamin K, it's rich in potassium. This is interesting, right? You can actually diversify from soil to these particular stones and grow your letters. It is performing so well. Now, let's take you to the technological bit. Let's talk about aquaponics in this particular farming. Let's go. Mark, hello. Hi, Linda. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good, good to see you. I'm How have seeing, you been? I'm good. I'm seeing a lot of things here. There's fish, there are a lot of machines. What's happening here? So what we're doing here is to complement um, the organic production of lettuces at uh, Osiligi by uh, introducing fish. So fish, basically when they eat, they also produce waste. That waste is a perfect source of nutrients for the lettuces. So what we want to do is to have as many fish as possible in different ages so that together they form a constant supply of minerals that go to the lettuces and allow us to produce uh, lettuces organically uh, without any chemicals or, or pesticides. So how does this system really work? We breed tilapia um, and we keep them um, uh, at different ages so that overall the total number of kgs uh, are constant so that we have a constant supply of nutrients. Mm -hmm. So that's why we see different aquariums with different sizes. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we have to make sure that they are feeding well. Mm -hmm. That means we have to know the water temperature. We have to keep the temperature perfect mm -hmm. because when, there's, when they are happy, they eat more. Mm -hmm. When they are eating more, they produce more minerals, mm -hmm. which now is, uh, become the, the nutrient source for the lettuces. So it's a circular type of system, but how does it work until these type of water gets to the farm? It's a circular type of system. Mm -hmm. So the water is being pumped around um, and basically the, the bacteria um, are helping to break down the, the ammonia mm -hmm. and make it available in a format that the plants can absorb. Yeah. So we have a, a biofilter mm -hmm. that is doing the job. What is the advantage of having this particular system in a farm? Unlike a farmer who doesn't engage in this type. The lettuces need constant supply of minerals so you can buy that with uh, fertilizer that often, of course, has to be imported. It's very expensive, it's not always available. So by having a constant source of natural uh, fertilizer being produced on the farm, you are not so dependent on these inputs, which are very expensive in the first place. Secondly, you are now also actually producing fish, which is also a valuable produce in the market. If a farmer is now interested in venturing into this type of system that you've involved in this farm, 
What are the basic needs? What is required? The beauty about a system like this is that you can do it at all scales. So you can actually uh, start with a, a container, uh, like they call it an IBC container. So you can cut open the top and you can start in a small scale, maybe with 1000 liters and uh, have a small pump, which could even be based on solar. So without too many capital expenditures, you can actually get started on a small scale. Uh, you can also use other fish, because in the end, all fish produce the same ammonia. So it doesn't matter which fish you use. Uh, a fish like catfish actually um, is, is less sensitive to the environment, to oxygen demands, so, um, and, and can still do the job. It is, of course, important to make sure that the water is of the right quality. Um, so you have to be careful that your oxygen uh, is sufficient, that your ammonia is not too high. So for that reason, we um, are here at Osiligi demonstrating how sensors can, uh, can be used. Because what you want to avoid is a situation where uh, things get out of hand and the fish all die within a very short time period. You've lost your source of nutrients, but also if you lost the produce that you want to take to the market. Yeah. So you have to be on, very much on top of it, and that's how technology actually um, comes in. Mm -hmm. And that's what we as Upande, uh, uh, Upande.com is the Kenyan company that is developing now sensors mm -hmm. uh, that now allow farmers who want to go smart to remotely be able to see exactly what's going on at the farm and what, how the water quality is. You've mentioned about Upande.com. What does it entail? What do you do? So Upande, of course, the Swahili name means location and direction. Mm -hmm. So what we help is our, for our customers to make decisions mm -hmm. to help them get to where they want to be. Mm -hmm. So we give direction through data, basically. Mm -hmm. So data is coming from sensors that is giving you warnings about the pH is too high or too low, the temperature is not good, so that one can go and, and sort it out before a problem really escalates. Yeah. Um, so that's what we are about um, and we make that data available through a smartphone basically or through a laptop uh, through notifications that people can get an alert when something is not quite right to either go and sort it themselves or call somebody who's taking care of the farm go and take a look at this because I see something is not perfect yeah. right and we want to have things be perfect for our customers yeah. so tech is really the future huh? absolutely yeah. yes thank you so much Mark that has been quite insightful you're welcome thank you Linda, yeah. Una kumbuka nili ku promise sandwich. You promised me up here. Aha. Unaona hizo vitu zote ni za shamba. Mhm. Mm Unaona nachukua mkate, mhm. Mm Unaweka ka lettuce hivyo. Aha. Uh -huh. Hii variety inaitwa iceberg. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Alafu vitungu pia fresh from the shamba. Mhm. Mm Alafu from the shamba. Kuna tomato uh -huh. aina mbili uh -huh. lakini tume choose cherry tomato. Oh. Zile ndogo ndogo ze kwa tamu. Mm. Eh, kwanza kwa sandwich ndio mm. ziko sawa. Haya. Voila. Ana vona kata kata. And it's ready. Na ndio hiyo yako nataka uenje. Eh, nitachangamkia. Mm. So I try this. Uh, you try. No no na e lettuce. Mm. See si, see si ai o sandwiches peke. Lettuce pia unaweza tengeneza salad. Mm -hmm. Salad una join mostly ni lettuce. Alafu mm. unaweka pia nyanya, mm. vitunguu. Ukitaka unaweza add maya hivyo, bacon hivyo, ka dressing kidogo on top. Mm -hmm. That's your dish. I'm really loving this. Na unajua mpaka ku juice. Kuna siku hizi watu wana juice, mamba uga hata spinach, ushawaisikia. Watu wana juice hata spinach. Sasa siku hizi hata salad tuna, lettuce tuna juice. Tunaweka kwa juice, alafu inatoka hiyo ka green hivyo. Unakunywa alafu una feel tu uko afya. Unaweza kunywa ikiwa baridi. Kuna wala hata wana wanakunywa kama soup wana ipashia moto imagine eh hey. hey, niko afya hata sasa ina skin niko afya eh hey, hivyo <laughs> i'm not even speaking to you now mm kula very busy to eat is so sweet mm. una enjoy sandwich ah 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 uh aha -huh. mm. una nyorosha is <laughs> idea maji eh hey, maji hata maji ko fresh mm -hmm. tuko na boho lakini hata sio maji hata chai ina hivyo <laughs> Thank you so much. around. Unaona wanajifunza mambo mengi. Sio unaona letters umeona, umeona greenhouse, umeona mpaka nguruwe, ngombe. Tuko na vitu vingi. Juu boys wanafaa kuajiriwa 
kile mahali. Yeah. Bora ni farming. Mm -hmm. Sasa tujajua kama watajeriwa hapa kwa wanyama, mm -hmm. kwa shamba, tuko na outside shamba, mm -hmm. tuko na greenhouse, boys lazima wako all round. Mm -hmm. Unaona? So that farmer akituambia tunataka boy. Tunajua ako set. I'm truly impressed by what you're doing here. Ni me enjoy sandwich, ni me enjoy letters or lettuce. Uku kwetu, watu wanasama lettuce. Lettuce. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Wow, it has been quite a show, right? It's not just about farming letters or any other products, but the spirit of giving. Thank you so much for being part of the show. My name is Linda Koskei. See you again next Friday.